So when my dad left the news in 66, um, he also left his negatives. And when he went back um, several years later to see if he couldn't acquire them, he was told that they were gone and that they were destroyed, thrown away, purged, the files were purged, and that you know he just shouldn't worry about it. And so he persisted and went back on a couple of other occasions um, and told the same things that they, you know, not to worry about it is not a big deal. And um, so he was going to leave for the last time, I guess he thought, and a receptionist there heard the conversation and she said that she knew where his negatives were. So she took him to um, a trove of negatives. And so he ended up getting about 3,000 back. Some of my favorites are right before the march when they're gathering out front of um, Brown Chapel Church. Um, some of the leaders that are well known today, John Lewis, um, Hosea Williams, Ralph Abernathy, uh, Albert Turner, Amelia Boynton, who is here for the march, who's 103 right now. And, um, and then this very um, dramatic um, moment where John Lewis and Hosea Williams lead the marchers. They've come across the Edmund Pettus and that's right before the confrontation with the troopers when Bloody Sunday happens. Well, I want them to realize that he, this, this was important to him. And you, to me, I can see it in the work. He was an artist before he became a photographer. And so he really set up, he, he sort of took care to, to make a great um, image as well as capture the action. And I think he was capable of doing both. And, um, and I think it speaks for itself. It's very powerful, and um, it tells just this extraordinary story of those events.